doing? I'm Bob. I'm thrilled to join you today as your guest voice for this video. Together, we're going to explore some truly mind-blowing discoveries in our solar system. Sit back, relax, and let's dive into the incredible story of Neptune like you've never heard it before. You clicked on this video because you want to know if the James Webb Telescope really caught a massive object colliding with Neptune. And I'm here to tell you that not only did it happen, but what we're seeing is so unprecedented that planetary scientists are calling it the discovery of the decade. This isn't just another space story. This is real-time evidence that planetary collisions are still happening in our solar system. And the data Webb captured is revealing secrets about Neptune that we never knew existed. But here's what's really mind-blowing. This collision has given us our first glimpse into what would happen if a similar object struck Earth. And the energy readings are beyond anything we've ever recorded. Stay with me because what I'm about to show you will completely change how you view the safety of our own planet. For the first time in history, astronomers witnessed Neptune take a direct hit from a celestial body and James Webb was there to capture it in stunning detail. The telescope's infrared vision revealed a blazing flash as the object slammed into Neptune's upper atmosphere, followed by shock waves rippling through the giant planet's deep blue clouds. The images showed streaks of heat and light never seen before glowing across the hydrogen and methane-rich layers. This wasn't just another observation. It was a planetary alarm bell. For decades, scientists believed that colossal collisions like this only belonged to the violent early days of the solar system, billions of years ago. But Webb's discovery proves the story isn't over. Planetary impacts are still happening right now, reshaping worlds at the edge of our system. The event instantly rewrote textbooks. Neptune, often overlooked in favor of Jupiter and Saturn, suddenly became the stage for a cosmic drama that no one expected. And the sheer clarity of Webb's infrared data means we're not just seeing the aftermath. We're seeing physics in motion, energy unleashed on a planetary scale, and a glimpse of how fragile even giant worlds can be. When the object hit Neptune, it unleashed a chain reaction of raw cosmic power. The planet's thick atmosphere became a giant laboratory of physics under extreme conditions. Shock waves rippled outward like rings in water, but on a planetary scale, shaking Neptune's cloud tops and disturbing layers thousands of kilometers deep. Infrared sensors on web revealed intense thermal spikes, sudden bursts of heat erupting across the atmosphere. These weren't random flashes. They spread in expanding patterns, almost like the afterglow of an explosion. The methane clouds absorbed some of the energy, glowing brighter than ever recorded, while hidden layers of hydrogen and helium carried the shock further down. What stunned scientists most were the luminous streaks, glowing scars tracing the path of destruction through Neptune's skies. These streaks lit up like cosmic lightning, hinting at chemical reactions never seen before. For a brief moment, the ice giant wasn't the quiet, distant world we're used to. It was alive with fire and turbulence. The sheer scale of the energy dwarfs anything we've witnessed on Earth. This wasn't just an impact. It was a planetary upheaval, a reminder that even at the far edges of the solar system, chaos and violence are still shaping the planets we thought were frozen and still for decades. The dominant theory was that giant collisions only happened billions of years ago, during the chaotic birth of the solar system. Worlds were still forming, orbits were unstable, and impacts were frequent. Over time, things were thought to settle down, leaving today's planets relatively safe from major strikes. But the collision on Neptune shattered that belief. This wasn't a fossilized scar from ancient history, it was a live event caught as it happened. It proves that our solar system is still a dynamic, restless place where the unexpected can unfold at any moment. Planetary collisions are not extinct. They're alive and ongoing, and that changes everything. If Neptune, orbiting in the outer reaches of the system, can still take a direct hit, 
then no world is truly shielded. Earth itself, protected by nothing more than chance and vigilance, remains part of this same cosmic shooting gallery. Astronomers now have to rethink planetary timelines. Impacts may play a bigger role in shaping atmospheres, weather patterns, and even habitability than we ever realized. Webb didn't just capture an image of Neptune. It captured proof that the drama of creation is still unfolding in real time. Until now. Theories about how giant planets react to collisions were mostly guesswork. Built on computer models and ancient scars seen on worlds like Jupiter or even Earth's moon. But the James Webb Space Telescope changed that. For the first time, scientists weren't staring at old evidence. They were watching the event as it unfolded. Webb's infrared eyes revealed how Neptune's exotic atmosphere, a swirling mix of hydrogen, helium, and methane, behaved under extreme assault. As the impact struck, Energy didn't simply vanish, it was absorbed, scattered, and redistributed across the planet's layers in ways no one had predicted. The upper methane-rich clouds glowed fiercely as they soaked up heat, while deeper hydrogen and helium bands acted like shock absorbers, spreading the impact's force across vast regions. In some places, the atmosphere rebounded like a spring, while in others it churned violently, creating storms within storms. This real-time data is a gold mine. For the first time, scientists can test their models against actual observations of how a giant planet's atmosphere responds to a sudden violent event. It's not just Neptune that benefits. The lessons learned here apply to every gas giant in our solar system and even to exoplanets orbiting faraway stars. At first, many assumed the culprit was a comet. After all, comets frequently wander through the outer solar system. But Webb's data told a different story. The impact didn't produce the usual icy vapor trails we expect from a comet breaking apart. Instead, it showed a dense, stubborn intruder, something darker and heavier. Astronomers now believe the object came from the Kuiper Belt, that vast ring of rocky, frozen debris circling beyond Neptune. Unlike comets with bright, icy surfaces, Kuiper Belt fragments can be pitch black, coated in tar-like compounds that absorb almost all light. Some even speculate it could have been a rogue asteroid, a traveler flung into Neptune's path after millions of years drifting through the outer system. What makes this impact extraordinary is how deep it penetrated. Instead of disintegrating high in the upper atmosphere, this object punched through Neptune's hazy methane clouds, diving into deeper layers before releasing its energy. Webb's instruments caught the signs, heat and turbulence far below the cloud tops, where sunlight never reaches. This tells us the impactor was not only massive, but incredibly tough, a survivor of the harshest conditions space can offer. By tracing its chemical fingerprint, scientists may be able to learn more about the building blocks of the outer solar system and even uncover relics of the primordial material that once formed the planets themselves. Every time an impact happens elsewhere in the solar system, it's a warning and an opportunity. For scientists, Neptune's collision is more than a distant spectacle. It's a chance to study in real time what happens when a large space rock slams into a planet's atmosphere? And those lessons could one day save Earth. Webb's data shows how shock waves travel, how energy disperses, and how an atmosphere cushions or fails to cushion the blow. By comparing Neptune's response to what we'd expect on Earth, scientists can refine impact models, predict damage zones, and improve early warning systems for when the next threatening object is spotted on a collision course with our planet. It also raises difficult questions. How would Earth's thinner atmosphere react to an object of similar size? Would it burn up harmlessly, explode in the sky like the Tunguska event, or reach the surface with devastating force? Neptune's impact gives us a test case, a glimpse into scenarios we cannot simulate perfectly in a lab. In that sense, the ice giant has become a stand-in for Earth, a natural laboratory billions of kilometers away, teaching us how fragile planets can be.
and how urgently we need to prepare for the day when our world is in the crosshairs of a cosmic visitor. A strike of this magnitude doesn't just vanish after the flash fades. For Neptune, the consequences could echo for months, even years. The atmosphere, already one of the most chaotic in the solar system, may now be more turbulent than ever. Storms could feed on the injected energy, birthing new dark spots or fueling jet streams that race around the planet at supersonic speeds. But it goes deeper than weather. Webb's data suggests that chemical fingerprints in Neptune's clouds may already be shifting. Strange compounds could form as the heat from the impact forces methane, hydrogen, and trace gases into reactions rarely possible under normal conditions. These chemical scars could linger, leaving scientists a trail of evidence to study long after the initial explosion fades. Even Neptune's rings and moons might not be untouched. The shockwave of the collision could send out subtle gravitational ripples, disturbing the delicate arcs of dust in the rings or nudging the orbits of smaller moons. These changes would be almost invisible to the naked eye, but with sensitive instruments, astronomers may be able to measure them over time. In short, this was not just a one-time event. The planet itself has been changed. Perhaps permanently, its weather, its chemistry, and even its orbital neighborhood quietly rewritten by a single strike from the depths of space. The collision didn't just light up Neptune's skies. It may have also shaken the invisible forces that surround the planet. Neptune's magnetic field is already one of the strangest in the solar system, tilted wildly and offset from its core. Now, the energy of the impact could excite particles trapped in that field, triggering powerful auroras that glow far beyond the planet's poles. Webb and other telescopes may soon catch these magnetic aftershocks, shining like cosmic neon across Neptune's atmosphere. But the implications run even deeper, literally. Scientists believe that far beneath the clouds lies a bizarre layer of superionic water, a form of ice that behaves like a solid and a liquid at the same time, conducting electricity and shaping the magnetic field itself. When the impact's shock waves plunge downward, they may have briefly disturbed this exotic interior, giving scientists indirect clues about its structure. Every flare, every ripple, and every flicker of aurora becomes a signal, a coded message from within Neptune, carrying information about regions no probe has ever visited. In this way, a single collision becomes more than destruction. It becomes a window into one of the most mysterious planetary interiors in our solar system. For decades, Neptune has been one of the most overlooked planets in the solar system. While Mars, Jupiter's moons, and Saturn's rings have dominated headlines and exploration plans, the icy giant quietly lurked at the edge of our observational reach. Voyager 2 gave humanity a fleeting glimpse in 1989, capturing tantalizing images of Neptune's storms, faint rings, and distant moons. But since that brief flyby, Neptune has remained largely mysterious, a distant cold world at the boundary of our solar system. Now, Everything has changed. Webb's dramatic capture of a massive object colliding with Neptune has thrust the planet back into the spotlight. It is no longer a quiet, frozen giant. It is a dynamic world, alive with storms, chemical reactions, and now, evidence of ongoing cosmic collisions. This renewed visibility is more than just an astronomical curiosity. It carries serious implications for the future of planetary exploration. Scientists are already reassessing priorities. Could a dedicated orbiter or flyby mission finally map Neptune's atmosphere in real time, monitor its ring system, and study the aftermath of this colossal impact? Such a mission could answer questions that Webb's remote observations only hint at. From the composition of the impactor to the long-term changes in weather patterns and magnetic activity, the data could also illuminate the interactions between Neptune and its moons, particularly Triton, which might have felt subtle gravitational effects from the collision. Public fascination is equally important. 
Dramatic events like this have the power to capture imaginations, inspiring the next generation of astronomers, engineers, and explorers. Visualizing Neptune glowing with the scars of a recent impact transforms the planet from an abstract blue dot into a real, dynamic world with stories to tell. Outreach, media coverage, and educational initiatives can build momentum, creating support for ambitious missions that were once considered too costly or low priority. Even mission planning timelines may shift. Previously, missions to Neptune were decades away, overshadowed by the lure of more accessible targets. But now, the scientific community has a compelling reason to act sooner. Webb's observations provide a roadmap. They show where to look, what instruments might capture the most critical data, and how unpredictable events like impacts can transform a planet's atmosphere and interior. Ultimately, Neptune's newfound prominence is not just a scientific opportunity, it is a call to action. For the first time in generations, humanity has a vivid reminder that the outer planets are not static, unchanging orbs. They are active, vulnerable, and full of surprises. Webb has reignited curiosity and urgency, making Neptune a prime candidate for future missions that could expand our understanding of planetary dynamics, the history of our solar system, and even the conditions that shape distant exoplanets. The collision serves as a catalyst, showing that exploration is not merely about steady observation, but about being ready to witness the extraordinary. As scientists, engineers, and space agencies digest these findings, Neptune's place in the exploration hierarchy is being elevated. What was once a quiet edge of solar system world now demands attention, promising decades of discovery, insight, and awe-inspiring observations. Watching a massive object slam into Neptune is more than just a scientific milestone. It is a vivid reminder that the universe is far from static. Even a planet more than four billion kilometers away is not immune to sudden transformative forces. The same invisible mechanics that shaped Neptune's atmosphere, chemistry, and magnetic field continue to operate throughout the solar system. And even Earth is part of this cosmic ballet. The collision emphasizes that planets are dynamic entities, constantly molded by impacts, radiation, and gravitational forces. What appears as permanence, the steady orbits, the calm blue glow, is merely a temporary balance, vulnerable to disruption by wandering objects from the Kuiper Belt, Asteroid Belt, or beyond. This awareness reshapes how humanity views our place in the cosmos. Philosophically, it is humbling. Earth is home to life, ecosystems, and civilizations. Yet it exists in a universe that does not discriminate. By studying Neptune's impact, we gain not only scientific insight, but also a profound appreciation for the delicate balance that allows life to thrive. The cosmos is alive, violent, and unpredictable. And the James Webb Space Telescope has given humanity a rare front row seat to witness that truth in action. Neptune's collision is a wake-up call. Even distant worlds are caught in the ceaseless dance of matter, energy, and destiny. Every flash of light, every ripple in its atmosphere, is a testament to the forces that continually shape planetary existence, reminding us that vigilance, curiosity, and preparation are essential in an ever-changing universe.